This is the most bizarre War Mind Cell build I have ever experimented with. Shout out to ya boy HM for getting me started on this. I used his War Mind Cell build as a base and then modified it and made it my own. Now there are a lot of different systems at play for this build, so bear with me as I explain how they all work. Everything revolves around melees and War Mind Cells, so the first question is, how do I get War Mind Cells? The way that I create War Mind Cells is through the mod Wrath of Rasputin, which states Solar Splash Damage has a chance to create War Mind Cells. So from there, I use the Jotun Fusion Rifle that fires a tracking shot that explodes and burns on impact. Something to note about this is that the direct impact itself won't create the War Mind Cells, but instead it's the explosion and the area burn that does. Something I think a lot of people forget about this gun is that it also has shield disorient, where matching an enemy's shield element will disorient nearby enemies. With a lot of fallen themed strikes in the roster, this is pretty useful because of all the solar shielded shanks. For the heavy slot, what I wanted to use was the Outrageous Fortune grenade launcher because of the solar splash damage. But I accidentally deleted it a while back, and after giving Zavala 2000 tokens and not seeing a single one, I gave up and used Pyroclastic Flow. Now at the time of recording this, it's about to be sunset in 5 days, so you'd probably be best using Outrageous Fortune, or if there's a new weapon that's solar splash damage and heavy, using that instead. Now another way I create Warmind Cells is by running Blade Barrage. After all the knives hit, they explode. And because I'm running a solar subclass, any of the grenades can spawn Warmind Cells. Personally, I prefer Swarm Grenades because they'll chase down those pesky Overload Champions. For the primary weapon, I just use the Cold Denial Pulse Rifle for the Barrier Champions. But hopefully, when the Season of the Chosen comes out, they'll change around the Champion mods so that I can use a 7th Seraf Kinetic weapon, because those will also create Warmind Cells. Now that I have all these ways of creating the Warmind Cells, the way that I use them is Power of Rasputin and Warmind's Protection. These together will make enemies near Warmind Cells do less damage to me, and I'll do more damage to them. A super powerful combination, and an absolute must-have early in the season for soloing difficult content. Then there's the obligatory Global Reach mod for most any Warmind Cell build. It'll make the Warmind Cells affect enemies at a greater distance. Now here's where the build starts to get a bit weird. You remember how I said this build also revolves around melees? Well, one of the ways to utilize Warmind Cells is the Strength of Rasputin mod that gives melee energy when collecting a Warmind Cell. Now, the melee for Blade Barrage is Knife Trick. Throw a fan of flaming knives that burn enemies on a hit. The other two subclass perks that play into these knives are Burning Edge and Playing with Fire. Destroying burning enemies recharges melee more quickly, and while enemies burn, dodge recharges faster. Now, before you click off the video because, oh, I already know how Blade Barrage and its melees work, what if I was to tell you that Jotun can actually trigger these two? It's wildly inconsistent, only about 1 in 6 shots would trigger the ability when I was testing it, but what matters is that it does work occasionally. So, the Jotun will sometimes spawn Warmind Cells, recharge the melee, and recharge the dodge. Then to make things even sillier is the Gambler's Dodge, which when done near enemies instantly gives a melee charge. And because Burning Edge recharges the dodge, once I get to 3 stacks of playing with fire, I can become a constant carousel of carnage. And if that wasn't enough, there's a couple things that can be improved upon. Assassin's Cowl will turn me invisible and give healing upon getting a charged melee kill or finishing an enemy. The duration of invisibility and amount of healing goes up the more challenging the enemy is. Then on the gauntlets, I put on the Impact Induction mod, which gives grenade energy whenever I deal melee damage. Now, the rest of the mods are all seasonal mods, but since Bungie likes reusing some of the mods, they may come back into relevance. Thermal Overload will allow Solar Grenades to stagger Overload Champions, and Momentum Siphon gives a melee charge every time someone on the fire team staggers a champion. Again, these are seasonal mods, but Bungie really likes to bring these back season after season. And there you have it, the weirdest Warmind Cell build I've ever put together. Some of the parts, like Jotun and Playing With Fire, shouldn't work together, but for some reason they do. And once they do get rolling, they work beautifully. I found it best to run a fusion rifle ammo finder and ammo scavenger perks to keep the Jotun filled with ammo. But anyways, thank you for watching, and stay safe out there.